Hey y'all, it's Kristen. I'm sorry about the last video. I just got all wrapped up in this book and I got cut off. So this is part three. For those of you who have not watched part one and two, this is part three of me showing a lot of old books. I do not know if I'm going to be able to get done with this part. I mean, if this is going to be the last part or not, we'll just have to wait and see. It's also 1.30 in the morning. Yay. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not sleepy. Um, I was showing this book. This book is wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and show the back again, just in case, like I said, there are new people that are watching. I do not know what this book is, what the name of it is, anything. All I have is this end paper to go by. So, if this looks familiar to someone and they know what this book is, please let me know. I would really, really, really like to know. Okay. So, let's just keep going through this one. This is the Storyteller's Hour. I really hope everybody can see this. I almost feel like I need to put it up on some other books. Mm, maybe I will. I bet Allison's going, yes, please. Put it up on some books. I'm on page 53. Okay. Let me grab the eats. Oh. Put this up on there. Now, is that better? Of course, when I turn it, it's going to be kind of hard. Let me move these. Okay. Now, can you see, or is it like too close and you can't see the whole thing? Let me look. That's the end. Okay. Everybody can see, I think. Oh, I'm going to have to scooch. Maybe that's all in frame. Now, I won't go through every page, but I just wanted, look at these book plates. Oh. Let's see if there's another one. No. That one says, The Beast Entertaining Beauty. Okay, I think that was Snow White. Here's some pages that are loose right here. It's more um, bedtime and Mother Goose stuff. And this is Little Bo Peep. This one, Wee Willy Winky. Three Bears, Rockabye Baby, let's steal the Three Bears. Three Little Pigs. Little Red Riding Hood. The Story of Chicken Licken. Okay. The Elves and the Shoemaker. Love. Okay, let me scoot up a little bit more. Oh, okay. Binky and Me. For the little, for the very little people. Okay, look at that. I could sit and look at pictures like this forever, with all the thing, you know, the different things going on in these pictures, like those books. I had a book when I was a kid of, I think it was something. The title was like Busy People or something, and it was just different pages of this town and you know different streets in this town or whatever and all these people were I think it was actually animals but you know they were going around working and shopping and doing all this I could just sit and look at it forever it's also why I like the back of golden books because you know they have 
all those different characters on the train, you know, and they're doing different things. Love that too. Like that. I mean, literally, you can sit there and look at that forever. Stories told by pictures. This is more of the st Storyteller's Hour. Tom Thumb. And then, okay. So I'm going to go this way this time. Animal pictures. Outdoors, in fact, and fancy. Here's some more book plates. Look at that tree house. That says the leaf makers. Some more book plates. Those are storms. There's one right there. The 12 months. I thought that said the 12 monsters for a minute because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, we're going to have to keep. There's some more book plates right there. Look at those. Right there. All those. Oh my goodness. How many minutes am I? Already five minutes. Okay. Let's go this way again. Where did I stop? Is that a spider? There's some kitty cats. Selena. Caught in the pantry, it says. Three little kittens lost their mittens. Okay, so we've looked at those animals. It says sense and nonsense. More cats. Oh, look, there's a book plate with cats. Look at that little Chinese baby. Isn't he cute? And then that. I mean, this book is just. I'm going to keep that right there because that's where that goes, I think. There's some music. There's Jesus. When Jesus was born. That says Angel with Loot. Right. And then here's some book plates. Are y'all getting bored? I'm pretty sure I hear Allison all the way over in Ireland saying, No! Am I right? I bet I am right. Okay. We're going to go towards the back. Oh, that little girl. Don't cry over spilt milk, dearie. That's right. Don't ever cry over that. The cooking lesson. I love old pictures like that. Okay, we're going to move on towards the back again. There's another. Oh, I already saw that. Okay. There's an index back here, and I was really hoping that it would say the name of the book, and it did not. It's just like suggested books to read. Oh, look, Candy. There's a kitty cat. And there's some dogs. See her hairstyle. What do y'all say about that? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. 
with that little pixie haircut, I'd almost say 20s, but I remember my, let's see, my grandmother was born in 28. She was the oldest. Her sister had a haircut like that, and that was like in the 30s, maybe late 30s or early 40s, so I don't know. But if somebody knows what this book is, I would be so happy if they would tell me. All the days of the week right here. Okay, we're fixing to have to move on from this lovely book. There was a picture in here that I wanted to show. And it was one of the more modern pictures. And I say modern as in it wasn't one of those storytelling books. I mean, pictures. I want to see if I can find it. I know I'm going fast and y'all are probably telling me to slow down. But those were Bible stories. And I probably don't need to go fast past Jesus. That's not a good idea, is it? But there was a picture and the kids had, like, the picture that you saw a minute ago that was kind of of the little girl. Okay, here we go. You see the knee socks and the shorts and the shoes? What time period were those? Um, because I think those are like for this book, re like recent pictures, you know what I'm saying? Like pictures that they used. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I can't find the other picture. They were in a barn. Now I can't find it. Anyway. Okay, we're just going to give up on that. So, lovely, lovely book. I, and I'm kind of glad that the pages are kind of falling out. Because if they weren't, I would never, ever, ever, ever use this book in journals. But since it is, and if I don't think the pages are going to mess up, I don't think they will. Because they're pretty sturdy stuff. They're kind of like a glossy. I don't know. So, I'll be able to use those. I'm going to put this over here. I'm not putting it on the floor. Okay. After that, I'm kind of like, what the I can't beat that. These books, I have a set of these. I have a set of this kind of encyclopedia kind of thing and this kind. This is Lands and People. It's a Grolier set. Is that how you say that? Lands and Peoples. This is the British Isles. I have like, let me look. Southern Asia, near the Middle East, and Africa, and Australia. I have everywhere. So I have a set of these, and then I have a set of these um, encyclopedias. So, this black one, the date on it, and it's a really cool book too, because it's got book plates through here, like this kind of thing. Really cool pictures. Like, look at that. And then those kind of pictures, like Big Oak Bridge. Look at this. I found this. These are paper doll clothes. I just found it in the middle of the book. Isn't that the coolest thing? I don't know if this is my grandmother's or what, because these are her books. Anyway, I'll tell you the date in just a minute. I was just going to show you some more of the pictures. I'm telling you, I could just get caught up in this and be reading, and all of a sudden figure out I'm out of time, the phone's cut out, and I'm sitting here still talking and looking, like I did a minute ago. <clears throat> okay. The date for this set of books is 1940 1948 Is that right? Because I was thinking that both of these were right around were like in the 50s I guess so That's the last publishing I mean the last copyright date so Okay so we have those, and then we have this kind. And this, look at that. Look at that picture. Can you see that okay? The date on this, 
It's a whole set of encyclopedias. I don't know if I have every single one of them, but I'm pretty sure I have most of them. The date is 1950 is the last publishing date or copyright date. So, this one, like I said, is volume three. And it has, it goes through C-A-N to C-Z-O. And they're just cool encyclopedias. I don't know if these have the cool, I don't know if they have cool book plates. Well, hang on. What is this? Well, that's pretty cool. Look at this. This is costumes. That's what this over here says. Costumes, so I'm assuming that. So it goes all the way from the 10th century. All the way. Let me make sure I'm in frame. To the 1920s. I'm going to hold it up. So you can see a little better. There's one row. The second row. Oh, can you see the dates or whatever? Second row and the third. This is really hard because this book is heavy. Ooh. Okay. So, it did have a cool book plate, but it's not like, I don't think, the other one has like a bunch of them, and I don't think this one does. No. I thought I saw one a minute ago, but... Okay, so anyway, they're cool encyclopedias. This one, these are the Book of Knowledge, the annual uh, books they put out. I don't, I guess they go with that one I just showed, but there's a 52 and a 53 here. And I like the um, end papers. And these just talk about, I don't know, all different things. Annual stuff. <laughs> I don't know how that sounded dumb, but you know. So anyway, there you go. They're both the same. So I'm going to move these away because, first of all, they're very heavy. <sighs> okay. Now, we still have some books. How many minutes? Gosh, 17 minutes. Is that right? Okay. I have a couple of more Golden Book Santa Claus books or Christmas books. This one is my Christmas treasury. I do not know the date. But this is what the book looks like. And there's pages torn out of it. I didn't do that, so I don't know what happened with that. And then we have one called Santa Surprise Book. Oh, these are, um, I forgot. These are the ones that Selena got me. See, they got all mixed up together. So this one I could just make into a journal with the covers or whatever. So there you go. Okay, now this one is a school book, I believe. It's Adventures for Americans. I do not believe I've shown this one. This was my aunt's school book back in the 60s. Let me see what the date is. 1962. Yeah. So, like I said, I think this was like a social studies or history book. So it'll be good to use for pages in a journal. It's not very interesting on the inside, but good book pages to use. Then, I have this one that I found at my grandmother's house. Brownie Scout Handbook. It was my aunt's, I believe. The date is 1959. No, yeah. Last date's 59. So, I'll just show you a few pages of this. Okay. Homemaking. They don't even do home ec anymore, I don't think. I'm almost positive. But back then, that was the thing to do. Not that there's anything wrong. I was a stay-at-home mom. But you know what? That was a thing back in the day. Okay. Now, these I found at my grandmother's. This, I remember this book. But sadly, I only have the front cover. So, kind of stinks. It's a Rand McNally book. It's a giant one. 
This one is also a giant Rand McNally. It's the Elves and the Shoemaker. I remember this book also. The date is in Roman numerals, and I'm going to hold it up. So you can see and look it up. Is this book causing... Let me move this. Okay. I'll show you a few pages of this one. Okay. There's that one. Here's another giant book. Theseus. I don't know where this one... I mean, I know I got it from my grandmother's, but... It's got my uncle's name in it. Can y'all see this? The date is 1964. But it's pretty interesting. Big pages. And the pages are real good. They're the not glossy. I call them real book pages. You know what I mean. Okay, so there's that one. Now this next one's pretty cool. It, I found this at my grandmother's house and it's filthy. Look at that dirt. But it is Remembering Yesterday's Hits. It's a Reader's Digest songbook. Well, of course, you know, we like sheet music and stuff. For our journals, this is fabulous. Look at this. Let me start back here. On a slow boat to China. Just like all a bunch of old songs. Did I skip one here? I'm not gonna do like every single one. Honeysuckle Rose. Careless. Child get the drift. I just thought this was really cool. Blue Velvet. This is the one I was trying to look at. The Gypsy. So, isn't this cool? I can just tear these right out and use them, and I don't have any trouble doing that. It does not hurt my heart a bit to do that. Your feet's too big. Okay. Stormy weather. I know that song. Until the real, real thing comes along. South of the border. All right, I'm fixing to move on because honestly, what time is it? I mean, how many minutes? See, my phone's fixing to go out again. All right, I'm going to stop it right here and I will have to do a part, whatever, 15? No, I'm kidding. It's like four. Okay, thanks so much for watching.